I'm Elizabeth from the Euclid Public Library, and I would like to tell you about three new books on Hoopla and Overdrive. All three books are geared for upper middle grade readers. The first one I'd like to tell you about is called War at the Snow White Motel and Other Stories, and it's by Tim Wynne Jones. In War at the Snow White Motel, Rex and his family are vacationing in Vermont. A thoughtless act launches him into war with an older teenager at their motel, but a much bigger conflict, the Vietnam War, looms large on the horizon. Ant wants to join the Fridays for Future movement, and impressing the new girl at school is only one good reason why. Joseph and Danny are determined to right an old wrong, no matter the consequences. Michael takes a road trip to spot a rare bird and along the way learns what his father is really afraid of. Robin has to battle her anxiety when her great-grandfather sends her in search of an old stuffed toy with a storied past. Walker is home for the summer in time to help his little sister expose a local company's dubious environmental practices. A boy can't figure out why the class bully won't leave him alone. It's not anything he could have foreseen. Tim Wynn Jones brilliantly captures pivotal moments, small and large, as these characters fight for understanding, courage, and a better future. This new collection features six brand new stories and three that have been previously published. The next one I would like to tell you about is called Cursed, and it is uh, by Jen Kalanita, and it is the next book in the Fairy Tale Reform School series. The evil Rumpelstiltskin is planning to cast a curse that will erase Enchantasia as the world knows it. And a fairy prophecy declares that Gilly Cobbler will play a key role. Never one to shy away from adventure, Gilly and her friends embark on an epic, swashbuckling journey to stop Stiltskin from getting the ingredients he needs before it's too late. Gilly can't help but wonder if it's already too late for her beloved sister Anna, who's still a member of the villainous Stiltskin squad, and will seemingly stop at nothing to thwart Gilly and her crew. Only by harnessing the skills she may have inherited from her fairy grandmother can Gilly stop Stiltskin and reunite her family. But with time running out and her fairy skills lying dormant, does Gilly have what it takes to prevent the evil curse and ensure a happily ever after for the cobblers? Or will she lose Enchantasia and her friends forever? The last one I'd like to tell you about today is called Sal and Gabby Fix the Universe. And it is the sequel to Sal and Gabby Break the Universe. This book is written by Carlos Hernandez. Best-selling author Rick Rorton presents the sequel to the critically acclaimed Sal and Gabby Break the Universe, a brilliant sci-fi romp with Cuban influence. Among many other challenges, Sal and Gabby have to try to make everything right with our world when there is a rogue Gabby from another universe running loose. Salvedon doesn't want to live a mommy-free life. Pulling different versions of his mother from other universes is how he copes with missing his own, who died years ago. But Sal's father, a calamity physicist, is trying to shut down all the wormholes Sal creates because Poppy thinks they are eroding the very fabric of our world. All of Poppy's efforts are in vain, however, because a Gabby from another universe has gone rogue and is popping up all over the place, seeking revenge for the fact that her world has been destroyed. While Sal and Gabby work together to keep both Poppy and rogue Gabby under control, they also have to so solve the mystery of Yasmani, who has gone missing from school. Could it have something to do with a wormhole in the back of his locker? Readers who enjoyed Sal and Gabby Break the Universe will relish being back in the world of Coleco Academy and the Coral Castle, along with such unforgettable characters as American Stepmom, the Gabby Dads, Principal Torres, and the Sassy Entropy Sweeper. With multiple Gabbies, 
and Sal's in charge, it's no wonder this sequel offers even more hilarious weirdness and love than the first book. I hope you get a chance to check these books out, and I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Bye.